What's up guys, Pim BMX out here today and today's we're gonna install a mid bottom bracket on Evan's bike. So here's the tools that you're gonna need. You need a rubber mallet or a hammer, depending on how easy or how hard it is gonna be to get out your old bottom bracket. We already did, we already took out his old one to save time, but we couldn't do it with the rubber mallet because it's really hard. So what you wanna need is use, if it's hard, use a hammer and use a punch or a screwdriver. I couldn't find my punches, so I just use a screwdriver, it works fine. What you do is you tap, here, let's act like this is it. You hit, hit once at the bottom, hit once at the left, top and right, keep on doing that all in a circle and it'll eventually pop out. Okay, and then, gonna need some grease. I got normal, basic grease, no WD-40. Not good, that'll ruin your mid-bottom bracket and then just an Allen key to put it back on your cranks. So. Let's get started. What you're gonna do, oh, let's talk about the parts of a bottom bracket. So obviously there's the two bearings. This is a mid, Americans are bigger. I have an American on mine because mine came with like weird ass. Uh, mine came with like cheap cranks and they're weird, but he has like the good one, he has mid. So here's a mid, then you got your, these go on the outside. They're your, pretty much your dust covers, I guess you could say. And they, they're like one of the last things going. Then we got all the spacers right here. I got there's some leftover ones for mine, but there's some. We there's we probably won't even use half of those, but and then we got the cone spacer. If this is not the right size, your cranks will not spin very good. It'll work, it's just they won't spin very smooth. Like there's 19 millimeter and there's 22 millimeter. This is a 19 millimeter. Alright. Here's his spindle, see if it fits perfect. He has a 19 millimeter and your, this bottom bracket is a 19 millimeter. So if that if it's too big, your cranks won't spin very soon. Okay. All right, so let's get started. What you're gonna do is get some grease. Just a little bit. And go on around the inside like this. Shit, I forgot a step. <laughs> Hold on, I'll keep it. Forgot this step. You want to wipe out everything in up in here. But sometimes you get sand in there. I don't know how. I had a lot of sand in mine. But just clean it out. All right, good enough. Okay, now we can grease this up. Just get a little bit of grease on your finger and go around. Get the outsides. Okay. Now you want to do it to the bearing. Get around this edge right here. So I'm just gonna go around. And remember, it's good to have a lot of grease. You can never have too much grease. Grease makes everything spin. People always say you should grease everything metal on metal contact. I think that's like too much. But I mean, I don't know. Just grease what I tell you to grease, I guess. Okay, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna put it in there as much as you can with your fingers. So, make sure you try to get it in as evenly as possible. So if like one side goes in a little more than the other, then just fix it. Like, this one's gonna be a pain in the ass again. We're at the hammer the fuck out of it, but yeah, like, that side's in too much. But yeah, you're just gonna get in there as much as you can with your fingers. And you probably, depend. mine on my bike was really easy to get in. This one, obviously, as you can tell, it's gonna be really hard. But, uh, let's see. It doesn't help that this got powder coated, so it makes it all rough. The edges. All right, yeah, well, just get it in as much as you can with your fingers, just even. And then we're gonna take a rubber mallet. Unless you have a bottom bracket tool, like a homemade one, I, I was gonna make one for mine, but since mine was so easy, I didn't need one. But um, all it is is a threaded rod, two washers, and two nuts. And those are really easy. I hope you can't hear that. But uh, those are really easy and uh, to make. They're like five bucks. A really good home tool and uh, but if you don't have those I'll show you what you can do so. right. 
Pause it. Alright, so we already hammered in one side. So just a reminder in case you didn't get it. All you gotta do is put in as much as you can with your fingers and then this one's kinda hard to get in, that's why we cut it to save time. This is gonna be really long. You put in as much as you can with your fingers, and you take your upper mallet or your bottom bracket tool, but if you don't have a bottom bracket tool, take your rubber mallet, and hit it in, and go around the circle, kinda like you did when you took out your old one, go around, hit it around the circle, top left, left, bottom right, <laughs> and then uh, skate it in evenly. And you can hold a piece of wood on the other side, so the bike won't move as much and your bottom bracket won't go out like like you don't hit it like we already got this one side in. it's kind of hard to say you got this one side in and then so you don't like put this one in too much i guess you can say i don't know really how to explain it but you're gonna have your spacer like we said earlier and you already we already have one side in there you call the seat from here and you're gonna put it in there okay now you're gonna same thing as last time Grease up the insides. Grease up the All right. Same thing as last time. Just put in as much as you can with your hand. Get in as straight as possible. That's probably all I'm going to be able to do with my hand. Then, get a piece of wood and hammer it in. Pretty straight, just gotta keep doing it. Alright, so we finished it as you can see. And uh Okay, we finished it and we, we had trouble getting it in as you can see earlier in the video. So we ended up using the wood and we just like see this mallet, we we're like fuck that. And we had the hammer, okay? So we used the hammer and just went around and use that, use the wood. Because we the other piece of wood wasn't working very good, so we just got this and weird shape but it still works and then if you use a hammer tap lightly and then see both sides are flush do make sure you do not hit it in too much if you do you'll just be fucked and it's really hard to get out so you can see in here i don't know if you can see that the spacers in there hope you can see that but uh yeah we got that in and so yeah pretty much that's it all right so now we got as you can see, we got all this in. We're gonna put in the cranks first. We got the spindle, so I'll put that in there. Oh, gotta line up the face. Fucking hate doing this part. There we go. Okay, got that in. Okay, looking good. So, now, where are my spacers? I get the spacers. Okay, this is exaggerating. You do not need this many spacers unless your bike is really weird. We probably use like two, maybe three at most. On mine, I use two. So, all we're gonna do is, here's, he's a right hand drive. So, we got this side. We got this side. We already took off the sprockets. We couldn't get off the chain. We like taking off the back wheel. So, you got this on. And you're gonna put this on, and when it's, it's not gonna line up, obviously, unless you're lucky and it will the first try, but I doubt it will line up. And you want it to line up perfect with your, uh, shit, hub, with your driver. You want it to line up perfect 
perfectly straight. Because if you don't line that perfectly up straight, then like on my bike, I didn't have my straight for months. I know it sounds like what the hell is wrong with you, but I just, this the bike shop was like acting like they didn't know what was wrong with it. But um, I just got it fixed last week, and that's why my chain was always loose and breaking and shit. But that's why you want it straight, because if you don't have a straight, your chain's gonna bend and break eventually, and it causes you to wreck. So your, bi your bike might throw your chain. So you just wanna line that up, and then if it's not lined up, that's when the spacers come into play. Spacer on, and then she's black ones. Look clean. But uh, use the spacers. Come on. Okay. Got the spacers. And then once it lines up, put this back on. Once it lines up, it's lined up. And you should know the rest how to put on cranks, especially if you took them off. And if you don't want to put on cranks, you're kind of a dumbass. So, you like that. Alright, well, thanks for watching. You guys have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments below. And please rate, comment, subscribe. And see you guys in the next video.